Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we got a special one because this could be the strongest beer on the channel so far. This was sent to me by my great mate, Jim. Jimbo, thank you, mate, for sending me this. We're off to a new brewery to me in Leeds called Tataris Beers. And we've got a Russian Imperial Stout from them, boys and girls. It looks pretty fucking evil to me, I have to say. Look at that. <laughs> You might as well have a skull and crossbones on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, this is called their Abaddon. And it is clocking in at a not-so-super-smashing great 17% ABV. This could be the strongest one for me on this channel. Um, considering I've just had 11% quad, <laughs> it's not, it might, might get messy after this. Anyway, so I've got the... You know, the faithful Desperados bottle opener. Why on earth I got this out for? I, I, I think basically it was given to me uh, in Spain by a bar owner because he, he saw my videos and stuff. So, anyways, I, you know, I'm reminiscing because I can't get over to Spain. Anyway, this is a Russian Imperial Stout. Um, it's got tiny, tiny writing. Um if you excuse me, he says, uh, the destroying angel, angel of the abyss, uh, during Armageddon, he is said to rise with an army of locusts. This sounds like something dreamt up by, you know, the nerdy people you, you find in the games workshop. Um, if you don't know what the games workshop is, boys and girls, it's one of them shops you, you know, down your high street and, you know, you've got your bakers, you've got your greengrocers and suddenly you come over to this shop and it's you look in the window, like that, lots of people in black t-shirts, long hair and all that and funny beards and you've got a kind of like a felt mat on a table and you've got little soldiers there and you've got little soldiers there and a couple of castles here and there and they're throwing a dice or doing whatever they do. <laughs> you know what I mean? You think, what the fucking hell are they doing? Do they actually sell anything in this shop, or they just come along for? Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, I can't read this. Why it's tiny? This entity is open for interpretation in some texts. He is a demon, angel of the abyss. Some say he is the Antichrist, and on even Satan himself. Others say he is. A demon so powerful and even Satan wouldn't challenge him. Sounds like somebody's been listening to too many Slayer records. Um, other other texts say that, in fact, he's an angel of God. Oh, God. Powerful, respected and feared by all creatures. Um, instructed by God to gather the earth uh, that Adam was uh, formed from. Then entrusted as a guardian. Um a complex being like this stout, fucking hell, strong with his different malts, a long maturation, complex, rich, robust flavours. Uh, be careful not to fall into temptation with this demon of a brew. Fucking hell, that's a long, bloody, winded thing. Um, what I should have done is basically put on that, we like a bit of crossbows and catapults. We like a bit of Dungeons and Dragons. This fucker's strong. End of story. Boys and girls, let's crack this open, shall we? Like we do. So, here is the Tataris, uh, whatever you want to call it, crown. Um, let's get the aroma, first and foremost. Nothing. It, it might be a slight ashy aroma to it. <clears throat> is that the, you know, the, the, af the aftermath of the the demon, is it? Fucking hell. So let's pour it out. Look at that. Engine oil. Absolutely engine oil. Jimbo, mate, you, you're trying to kill me off with this one, mate, I think. So, whatever happens <laughs> after this review, I do apologise. I should apologise to my wife. She's... 
<laughs> I've got some housework to do later, oh, and I don't think I'll be able to do it. <laughs> anyway, beer in a glass, thinning off white head. Um, the aroma, it, you do get a hint of roastness feel. There is a dark entity swirling around the glass in this, boys and girls, waiting to grab hold of me by the neck and pull me in. If you know what I mean. I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. That's rather good. Oh, my word. That's rather good. <laughs> cool, I have a few of these. <laughs> I'm going again. <laughs> Lovely, sweet smoothness on the front end straight away. Then you get nice little chocolate note, hardly any roastness to this. But I think what, you know, the element of the strength is in the mouthfeel. It's smooth and sweet. Um, it sticks around the mouth. Um, lovely sweet caramelness. It's all very sweet. All very... Not sickly, but syrupy. Um, you do get a slight essence of um, ash on the back end. A bitterness and a slight ashy note. Um, Cigar ash, or <laughs> cigar ash. <laughs> There's a slight ashiness on the back end. You just pick up tobacco type feel to this. Um, definitely a sipping beer. Definitely. Um, it's very, very pleasant. But so was Satan, wasn't he, once before he, you know deceived the poor souls and dragged them into the abyss of hell. So this <laughs> this could be something on them lines. I think it would, uh, you know, drag you into an abyss of hell, of, of hangovers and puking up or whatever, <laughs> like you do. Um, as a beer itself, it is, it is really, really good. It is. It's, it's, it's on a serious note, boys and girls, which is very rare of me, but on a serious note, Sweet, smooth, sipping beer, lovely dark malt roastness there, slight hint of caramel there, chucked in. It is a really, really nice beer. I like it. Um, you don't pick up the alcohol. You only feel the strength really in the actual body of it that, because I'm... I'm the mouthful I'm taking, it's all small mouthfuls. You can't chug it back unless you're an idiot. <laughs> so, yeah, it is, it's, it's really well-rounded. It's, it's, I'm picking up a slight hint of hazelnut for me in this and bits of dark chocolate floating about. It's really, really nice. It's, um, it's very, very pleasant, Jim, if you're watching. Um, so would I recommend this one? I have to say, it is rather nice. Um, uh, the after effects of it may be a bit too much for some people, but um, I have to say, this lot... God, that looks ugly, that bottle, doesn't it? Look at that. Um, I have to say, this lot... This this beer, should I say, this lot. From Tar... What's it? Tartarus. Tartarus Beers. Um... I have to say, highly recommend this one, actually. It's really, really nice. Uh, going again. There I pick up a slight hint of vanilla to it, but not much else. So, boys and girls, to Taurus Abaddon. Belter. Absolute belter. Belter of a beer. Murder them in the comments. Tell me what you think about this. So, I'll tell you what. Oof. It's a belter. It's a strong one and it's a good one. Thank you, Tim, for sending me that. And I'll see all of you, every one of you, 
if you're still alive after drinking this, <laughs> on uh, my next one. Cheers. <laughs>